Well, hey friends, and welcome to my cleaning and tidying routine. I found that keeping a consistent routine is one of the best ways to ensure that our homes stay calm and clutter-free. So today, I want to share my personal cleaning routine with you and the habits that I practice on a weekly basis to ensure my home remains a relaxing and peaceful space. And for me, that routine begins in the living room, the heart of our home. I like to start by just doing a general tidy up of the entire space putting away anything that I might have gotten out and straightening up any small messes that may have accumulated. Then with everything tidied, I next like to take a few minutes to defuzz our furniture using this little tool that I found off of Amazon. It does a great job picking up any little bits of lint that may have caught on our furniture. So I like to just run it over our chair and couch whenever I notice small bits of fuzz accumulating. I'll also often clear off and wipe down our coffee table because we use it more often than most of the furniture in our home. I find that it tends to get messy a little bit faster than other spots. So I do like to wipe it down quite frequently. The next I'm onto the kitchen and this space again begins with a bit of tidying up. I'll often work from our kitchen island, so I just took a couple of minutes to put everything away, my computer, hard drives, and my old coffee cup. I'm trying to get better at putting it in the dishwasher right after I finish my coffee, but it's still a work in progress. Then of course, cleaning my counters is something that happens on a daily basis, if not multiple times a day. However, once a week or so, I do like to go in with a disinfectant spray just to give my counters a bit of a deeper clean. Because we have quartz counters, I do find that they tend to show dirt and debris a bit more so than granite counters or something like that. So I do find that it really helps just to have that deeper weekly clean. And speaking of keeping things in good condition, something that I also like to do is just to pour a bit of oil on our cutting board to help cure the wood, make sure that it stays looking fresh. This helps to prolong the life of wood cutting boards and minimizes signs of wear. I'll just continue making my way around the kitchen wiping down all of our surfaces and moving things out of the way as needed. And I'll also tackle any clean dishes that need to be put away and making sure to put them back where they belong as well as wash any dirty ones. Although I should note with this and honestly with so many of these other tasks, my husband and I really do try to split most of these tasks as evenly as possible. We don't have specific ones that each person takes, but throughout the week, we do just try to divide up a lot of these responsibilities naturally. So here, you might see me doing most of them, but know that on a weekly basis, we really do try to partner together on them as a team. The way I see it, we're co-owners of the house, so we should share the responsibility. Now this is another one of those tasks that I'm just trying to get a lot more consistent at. Washing out the sink is often one of those things that I do forget to do on a weekly basis. It often ends up happening about monthly or every couple of months, but I am trying to get better at every single week remembering to clean this out because it really is just wild how dirty it gets. On the bright side though, it is super satisfying just to see the difference that cleaning it makes. I had also seen that our hand towel was getting pretty dirty, so I swapped that out for a new one before just quickly touching up a few spots on our cabinets that I noticed had a little bit of grime on them. The same went for our appliances too. I don't wipe these down every single week, but I prefer to do these on a bit of an as needed basis. On this particular day though, both our fridge and microwave are looking a bit gross, so I wanted to give them some love. But then turning my attention to the dining room, again, I just wiped everything down using my Blue Lin cleaning spray. I love that it's a great eco-friendly alternative to traditional cleaning sprays and I find that it works great. 
and we had had a number of guests over the other day. Our table was still set for eight. So Christopher helped me to put away the extra leaf and to return our table setting back to four. That really is one of my favorite things about this table. We love hosting and having company over, but as a family of two, we really don't need seating for eight on a regular basis. So it's really nice that we can get at this leaf and the extra chairs whenever we want them. We don't need to have them up long term. Most days, four seats is plenty for the two of us. The last thing for this space before I got started on the floors is that I quickly wanted to just wipe down our trash and recycling cans. Just like our appliances, I find that the stainless steel bins need to be wiped down every so often just to make sure that they stay looking in good shape. Normally I would probably stop there, but I did also notice that the wall behind them had a few stains and spills on it. So I just moved the trash cans out of the way and gave everything a quick wipe down. I finished this with just doing a little vacuum of the area and putting back the cans. But then keeping the vacuum out, I just made my way around our living space, trying to hit on all of our most frequently used areas. This is the Dyson V8 cordless vacuum that I'm using and it really has been something of a game changer for us. Before we had a pretty clunky vacuum that worked well on carpets but it didn't really do anything at all for our wood surfaces. So I love that this vacuum really can do both and do both well. I find it so useful for just whizzing around quickly before we have guests over or for more extensive cleaning jobs like this one. The battery life on it is pretty much the perfect size for our home. I find that it really does a great job of just picking up anything that we have on our floors. But that really wraps up our cleaning activities for our main living space. So next, I like to take a break from vacuuming and turn my attention to our bedroom. I'll first wipe down our mirror to remove any dust that's accumulated. For some reason, this mirror seems to collect dust three times as fast as anything else in our home. But who knows, maybe it's just that I'm looking at it more frequently. And then if they need it, I'll also clear off and wipe down our bedside tables as well. Just like with our appliances and a number of other things throughout our home, I like to clean them on an as needed basis. I don't really find that they need to be wiped off every single week. However, whenever I notice any dirt or debris accumulating, I always like to take some time to clean them. Now I'll just wrap up my cleaning for this room with doing a quick vacuum of the floor. That brings us to the last big area that I like to focus on with my weekly cleaning routine, and that's our bathroom. I'll start with just putting anything away that might be out on our counters and just returning a general sense of order to the space. Then I'll move on to cleaning. I'll take a minute just to remove everything from the counters. Then I like to begin working top to bottom to clean the sink area, beginning with the mirror, moving on to the counters, and finally ending with the floor. This is a general pattern that I like to follow in any room that I'm tidying because it allows any debris that the rag misses to just fall further and further until it's eventually taken care of on the floor. With the sink area, I always like to finish this off with just using either paper towel or dry cloth to add a bit of shine to the taps. One of those little finishing touches that I just find so satisfying. And I'll just put all of our bathroom accessories back where they belong, put out a fresh hand towel, and then move on to our shower. And here I'll start with just cleaning the glass on both sides of the shower before making my way to the inside. Then I'll make my way around the shower, doing the walls first, and then finally finishing it off with the floor. And 
With the shower finished, I'll move on to the toilet. Here, I do things a little bit differently. So rather than working from top to bottom with the toilet, I like to work from the outside in. So I'll do everything on the exterior of the toilet first and finally finish off with cleaning the toilet bowl. Then last but not least for the space, we can't forget the floors. And with our bathroom floors in particular, I do like to try to give them a bit of a deeper clean. So what I'll often do is just go in with our mop and give them a good scrubbing. I also like to check our bath mat to see if it needs to be cleaned and it did. So I just set that aside to put in with a load of laundry I was about to do and then finished up with the bathroom. Then to wrap up this entire routine, I'll throw on a load of laundry. I typically do about one to two loads per week. I know you can tell we don't have kids from that number, but I usually like to put on at least one of those loads right after cleaning because there's often some towels or in this case our bath mat that need to be cleaned and put out in pretty quick order. If you've been around for a while, you know True Earth is my laundry detergent of choice. That's really it. That is my simple cleaning routine. I really hope that this gives you some great motivation and inspiration to get out there to clean and tidy your own home. As always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. And I'll see you all in the next one. Happy cleaning.